My name's Brad Mitchell and I'm the principal of Sir Joseph Banks High School. I'd like to welcome you to our Values of the Week program. Values of the Week is a new program that we're implementing at the school to teach the important values that we believe students need to be successful in life. Every Monday morning in homeroom, keep an eye out for the different, a different value of the week that we'll be focusing on and will be the central point of a discussion that we'll have in homeroom classes. Values are the things that guide us in life and we really think that they are important and uh, I hope that you enjoy the Value of the Week program. The first value of the week is one of commitment. What is commitment? To me commitment means giving your word on something and sticking by it. Commitment is about um, being a part of a team and making sure that you follow things through. I'll talk a little bit more about commitment in a moment and what it means to me. But I wanted to start off by discussing, I guess, the way that I came to learn values as a child. Obviously, when I was growing up, my family was the most important um, giver of knowledge as, as far as my values were concerned. And then I went off to school, and school was also fantastic in helping us to learn um, a whole range of different values. I also learned values from what I read, and I used to read a lot as a young child. And one of my favourite authors was a person that I consider to be one of the, the greatest writers of the 20th century. Most of you probably wouldn't know the name. If I said the name Theodore Geisel, the vast majority of you would probably say, who is he talking about? I have no idea. But if I spoke about his pen name, which was Dr. Seuss, then you probably would know who I was talking about a wide range of children's books which were written in the middle years of the 20th century by Dr. Seuss were so influential in the lives of so many kids and I was one of those kids. One of the books which is a particular favourite of mine is called Horton Hatches the Egg and I just happen to have a copy right here. And even though the book is aimed at a particular audience which is children I think it's really important to realise that it has lessons for everyone, whether it's older children, teenagers and adults. Horton Hatches the Egg is the story of a, a particularly dedicated elephant. And in the story, uh, he's approached by uh, a lazy bird called Maisie who has laid an egg but doesn't really want to follow through and, and doesn't want to um, um, hatch that egg. Horton, because of the sort of person that he is, kind, caring and committed, decides that he will sit on the egg for Maisie until she's able to come back. But as we find out, and I'm going to do a little bit of a reading for you, as we find out, um, things don't go out as planned. And he sat all that day and he kept the egg warm and he sat all that night through a terrible storm. It poured and it lightninged, it thundered, it rumbled. This isn't much fun, the poor elephant grumbled. I wish you'd come back because I'm cold and I'm wet. I hope that Maisie bird doesn't forget. But Maisie by this time was far beyond reach, enjoying the sunshine way off in Palm Beach and having such fun, such a wonderful rest decided she'd never go back to the nest. So Horton kept sitting there, day after day, and soon it was autumn, the leaves blew away, and then came the winter, the snow and the sleet, and icicles hung from his trunk and his feet. But Horton kept sitting and said with a sneeze, I'll stay on this egg and I won't let it freeze. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. Now, a story about a, an elephant sitting on an egg might not seem to have much relevance for teenagers um, at Sir Joseph Banks High School in 2014, but I believe it actually does. Because for me, that's a story about commitment. It's a story about giving your word to someone, and it's a story about seeing things through. What's it got to do with you? Well. 
Many of you will be members of a sporting team. You might play soccer or netball, rugby league, AFL, whatever it is, on the weekend. And you have teammates and you have coaches and you have people who are relying on you. If you said you're going to be at a particular place at a particular time for the game and you don't show up, you not only let yourself down but you let everyone else down. That shows a lack of commitment. If you don't turn up for training, it's the same thing. Similar situation with school. When you're working in a group or working as a part of a class and you have a particular role to play, people are expecting you to be as good as your word. They're expecting you to turn up, they're expecting you to be there to put in the work and put in the effort. A number of you I know do drama, for example, with Miss Conti and she has a lot of group tasks and it relies on everyone being there, on making a commitment, on being true to their word. And so I think that it's really important that people do have that level of commitment. And you might also ask, well, what does it matter if you don't turn up here or there? Well, it, what happens is you get a certain reputation. You get a reputation for being untrustworthy. You get a reputation for uh, not being reliable. And when that happens, that follows you around. And so as far as um, teams are concerned or taking on jobs in the school, people won't trust you to do that because you've let them down before. So commitment and being reliable is an incredibly put important value. People will want you to be around them when they know that you are committed and that you are reliable. So how did it all end for Horton? Well, Horton sat on the egg, and many of you may have read the book before or even seen the movie. But for those that don't know, Horton sat on the egg through all sorts of trials and tribulations. Uh, he was um, taken by hunters, he, was, he ended up in the circus, uh, he went through all sorts of um, different weather conditions, but he stuck to his word. He'd given his word that he would stay on the egg and he kept it. And at the end of the book, it says, it describes what happens when the egg actually hatches. And the people came shouting, what's all this about? They looked and they stared with their eyes popping out. Then they cheered and they cheered and they cheered more and more. They'd never seen anything like it before. My goodness, my gracious, they shouted, my word, it's something brand new. It's an elephant bird. And it should be, it should be, it should be like that because Horton was faithful. He sat and he sat. He meant what he said and he said what he meant. And they sent him home happy, 100%. And that's commitment.